Hello guys, in this video, I'll be discussing one of my favorite strategies on option selling that is iron fly. Iron fly is nothing but short straddle with hedge. Okay. So guys, uh, one good part of this iron fly is that uh, you can do it with less than 40,000 capital also and the risk reward ratio is also very good. So that's one of the good part of this uh, iron fly. And here guys, uh, you have to watch this video completely because in the beginning you will feel like a normal video how we do uh, usually. So in the beginning you will feel like that but uh, the twist will come in the end part like uh, the last two minutes is very important. So please watch this video completely then only you will understand this. Okay and guys, uh, I am not a SEBI registered analyst so all the videos I am sharing is completely based on my knowledge and for educational purpose only. And one more thing, please be aware of of the um, fake telegram channels instagram profile and everything okay which are they are asking for many services like portfolio management and all i'm not uh, having any such services so please be aware of that and don't get into the trap so now let's get into the video Okay guys, so in this video, I will talk about some examples for short straddle. So we already discussed about short straddle. So short straddle is nothing but you are going to sell the same strike, call and put. And mostly what people will do, people will uh, go for at the money, right? So we will take at the money strike and we will sell call and put. It is completely a non-directional strategy. So if you are having a bearish view what you can do is you can go directional by selling a call simply selling a call or even selling itm call and if your view is bullish what you can do you can simply sell a put if you have a strong conviction you can even go for itm put also now still if you want to make it as a straddle if your view is bearish you can go for call strike which is itm and the same strike put also you can sell okay similarly if your view is bullish you will select put itm and the same strike price call also you can sell and you can make it into a, a kind of directional straddle so now normally if you look at this uh, 46594 we need to see what is the nearest 100 that is 46 600 so this is your at the money strike now here what we you will be doing you are going to sell a call and you're going to sell a put so this is what at the money straddle so bank nifty is staying at 46 594 you will be taking 46 uh, 46 600 call and put either this week or this month or three month or six month all this we can do okay now if your view is slightly bearish what you can do you can do you can go for in the money call let's say 46 400 what you can do you can sell call and put if your view is bullish what you can do in the money put you can sell which means you can go for 46 800 call and put so you will get an advantage of the direction also if you're doing this so here you're going in the money call if your view is bearish you're going in the money put if your view is bear bullish if you don't have any view simply you will go for at the money straddle so this is the safe and easy for adjustments and other things so i hope this part is very very clear now what you can do is let me clear all these uh, let us see how much it will cost you to do this okay so let's say uh, we will take 46 600 uh, we will go for next month april call and put okay so 46 600 call and put which is at the money now we need to sell the call how much will it cost you it will cost ninety-eight thousand. and the premium you are collecting you will be getting it back so 98,000 will cost you for selling a call. Similarly, if you want to sell a, a put, almost similar 90,000 it will cost you. But if you are selling a call individually or put individually, approximately 90 to 1 lakh will cost you. Right? So what you can do is 
you can when you sell the straddle also it will be the same and you will get back the premium as well so effective margin will be again almost the same so I, i'll show you that also so here when you're selling a straddle the call will act as a hedge for put and the put will act as a hedge for call apart from that we will do uh, we will do hedging that i'll be discussing in the next video where i'll be discussing iron fly where i'll talk about separate hedging here when you do straddle the call will act as hedge for put and the put will act as hedge for call no other hedges okay so even then you know when there is a hedge the premium or the margin requirement will come down so now let's try to see how to execute the straddle or how much premium or how much margin will uh, which is actually required so let's go for this okay so i'll cancel all these and we'll start fresh let's go for 46600 which is at the money i'm going for april call i'm going to add this okay uh, so 98 is the premium required and then 46600 i want the same expiry put so here i'll be adding this so now you can see you need this margin for this trade and you're getting a premium of 1200 here and 800 here so almost 2000 rupee premium you're getting and multiplied by 15 you're getting almost 30000 premium so you're getting 30000 premium and so that uh, will be subtracted you will be getting it back and effective margin or the final margin will be 81000 so to execute this uh, you know final margin which is required for this is 81 but executing you need this but you will get it back so 81000 is a premium ultimately required and you're getting 30k so if you're lucky if this is going to become zero then you will be getting a very good return on this okay so uh, now what else you can do is i'll be showing one more thing so here you can see 2000 is the premium this i'll be discussing in the iron fly okay in detail and in adjustment also so you have a flexibility to go 2000 on the downside and 2000 on the upside so which is 44600 on the downside and 48600 on the upside so your break even will be after this only so what you can do is let's go hedge for this 44600 and 48600 so 44600 i will look for current week okay so 44600 so i'll go for 44600 put and uh, it will cost you 13 rupee okay so i'll be adding this and i'll be going for 48600  48600 call as well so this will cost you 10 rupee so i'm adding this now can you see the margin requirement so what we did here initially we were selling call and put so the call will act as hedge for put and put will act as hedge for call that uh, that i discussed so you know how the premium has come down now when i'm hedging i'll tell you why i am here in april month and why i'm here in the next week uh, this will i'll explain in the next session but what i want to highlight you is what is the effective margin for you to execute this 39 Thirty-nine thousand is what you need. How much premium did you collect it? You collected thirty thousand. So margin required is thirty-nine. You collected thirty thousand, and now you need to do the adjustment parts, and that I'll discuss later. But end of the day, if these both are going to become zero, if Bank Nifty is closing around ah uh, forty-six thousand six hundred level by the expiry time, then then you will be getting almost eighty percent return in a month if it work out. Okay. but there will be moves here and there adjustments here and there but we'll be discussing all those adjustments but i hope and i'm expecting that this part is clear for all of you what we did initially and reduce the margin and what we did uh, later and reduce the margin to 39000 but this part i'll be discussing in detail in the next session when we discuss about iron fly 
so that's it guys thank you so much hope you understood thank you so much